Hey there, I'm back. Um, just wanted to talk real quick about something that had crossed my mind. Um, I was journaling and, you know, uh, doing some reading and stuff and actually just kind of taking care of myself. I feel pretty good. It looks, I'm liking what I see in the camera. I hope that y'all like it too. So I don't want to fall in love with myself and become all narcissistic, you know. But anyway, um, I wanted to kind of just touch base with you about something that um, crossed my mind. Um, I had been talking about all the materialistic things that I lost. You know, we all, everybody knows my situation and why I started my channel. And it's, it's amazing. First of all, let me say this. Seven days. Not even a full seven days. We haven't even hit, you know, Friday night. So, you know, seven days. What a difference God can make in seven days. If y'all go back and look at those first couple of videos, you know, um, especially that one where, where I was talking about, um, you know, why didn't you tell me what you were going through? You know, that was just, that was, that was kind of hard for me to watch. So I'm sure it's, it's hard for y'all to watch. And, and if it is, click off of it and, and, and don't. Um, but I leave the video up for a reason because there are people who are suffering narcissistic abuse, um, demonic oppression, you know, um, spiritual attack. And we hear about it all the time, but we very rarely get a chance to see it outside of Hollywood. Um, and so, you know, I think it's very important for me to leave those videos up. It, it, it is kind of embarrassing now, you know, because I'm on I'm, I'm on the other side of it, you know. But at the same time, it's um, empowering because it whew, seven days, seven days, you know, um, it just lets you, you know, it just lets you get an inside look at what really happens. And that's not a documentary, okay? Did nobody pay me to do that? That was all me. That was God working through me, getting that message across to people who are suffering from, um, you know, narcissistic attack, abuse, you know, um, drainage, energy vampires. You know, that's what they are called, energy vampires, because they come to suck everything that's good and positive anything juicy they they just want to suck it all out of you and they leave you dried up bitter sad afraid full of anxiety you know doubtful and um and and suicidal you know i mean you guys saw that in the video i mean i never said i was going to commit suicide but i definitely felt the spirit of death around me or i felt the presence let me clear that up because that's a better word for me to use versus the angel of death i felt the presence of death okay that's what i was feeling so that helps me see the videos help me um help you so that's what i was feeling was that presence of death um and that's what happens when you um experience narcissistic abuse they feed off of you and then you end up um feeling dead you know it takes you time to go back and rehydrate replenish you have to pray yourself through it you know you have to give into yourself you have to give to yourself you know you have to rest you know you have to feed your mind your body your spirit all of that. It takes a lot to come back. And um, and the fact that I was able to, you know, start recovering so quickly tells me, number one, that my God is good. Amen. And number two, that I've been through this so much that I can, you know, I, I, I bounce back. Um, unfortunately, I probably won't be able to do that too much longer, you know, because of my age. But at the end of the day, um, my my focus now is not the fact that I can bounce back from it. That's not what I want to brag about. I want my victory to be, I spotted it before it even hit me. I saw him before he came around the corner. I smelled her coming before she got here. You know, um, I made a comment one time that I could smell the bullshit before you drop it. And that's usually true about me. Sometimes I let my guard down. Now my job is to figure out who it is that's getting through. Because it's a sneaky little booger that's getting through. And um, it's manipulating me. It has manipulated me a couple of times. And I've let it in. And it is. It's a narcissistic energy. It's a, de it's a demon. So, but I'll figure it out. And when I do, I'll let you know. And then you'll know. And we'll all know. And then he'll just have to, 
you know, disappear and go where he belongs and stay there. Um, anyhow, I had wanted to do a video. I'm sorry, I got off on a tangent. Um, I wanted to do a video about how God had, you know, I was writing and journaling and talking about how God had to remove all of the materialistic things from my life. Like everything materialistic has been taken away from me. You know, and it's not like it can't be replaced. Of course, he can give it back to me. But here's the thing. I don't want all of that stuff again. I don't want it. I have zero desire for a big house. I have zero desire for multiple cars, boats, RVs, you know, fancy furniture, um, name brand clothes, $500 pocketbooks. You know, um, the things that are important to me now are number one my spirituality my relationship with the most high god i want to get so comfortable in that that no matter what i say where i go i'm confident and comfortable in it doesn't matter what other people think that's where i want to be um the second thing um that i want to focus on you know is just taking care of me you know if i'm not spending all of this money to have two and three bedroom homes for grown children who don't want to live at home anyway why am i making room for people who don't want to be there that's what i couldn't understand so a one bedroom apartment would be absolutely perfect for me and in the money that i was wasting trying to build homes for people who were never going to come back anyway take that money and invest it in myself you know my favorite lotion is nivea i'll stick with that probably till the day i die but i would love to try a $50 face cream one day. So maybe I can invest in, you know, little small things like that um, to treat myself. You know, um, I don't have the need anymore for um, all of the things that I one time thought were so important. Everything that I wanted, really, to be honest with you, was to impress other people. People that didn't like me, no way. And I wanted those things so that those people would like me. Now I'm kind of glad I don't have those things because those are the people who I won't have to worry about coming around me. They don't want to be around me, no way, because I don't have those things. And even if I have the ability to get them, it's none of your business. The fact that I don't have them is going to keep a lot of people away from me. Um, that don't mean me any good. And the second thing that does is it helps me to focus on being grateful for what I do have. Um, if I have a huge mansion, I don't know about you, but I, I get kind of sidetracked. So if I have this big, huge house, I'm probably not going to focus a whole lot on each individual room because I'm so preoccupied every day with something else that I have to do to maintain this big house. Um, whereas if I had just a one bedroom, I would, you know... For me, this is just me personally, um, I'd rather have something smaller that I can just be grateful for. Every time I turn around, there's so, you know, I'm just able to see something new that I could be grateful for. Um, I don't know, you know, God has just taken me through this, this tunnel in the last few days. And I've seen things differently. Um, I see people completely differently than I did seven days, seven days ago. I saw people differently than I see them now. Um, I'm not going to say that my heart has changed. I have a very good heart and I still have a giving heart, but I have a hold the hell up kind of mindset now, you know, which is going to benefit me in the long run. I don't have much to give now, but when I get back on that horse and I'm able to give, I know now that I have to be very careful. Um, and I have to be uh, prayerful. That's the most important thing. I need to be prayerful when it comes to my giving. Because sometimes I give out of myself. And that doesn't benefit anybody but me. When I give, I want it to benefit God. And I want it to benefit his kingdom. I want it to benefit his children. That, that's my goal when I give going forward from today forward you know um 
But I just kind of wanted to share that because it's, it just feels so good to know that I could move into a little one bedroom. And I can't wait until y'all y'all are going to be there with me when I get my new place, you know, and it's it's coming like it's right around the corner. You know, I don't know. It could happen Monday. It could happen today. I don't know. My God is something else. Um, but, you know, for me to just a blow up mattress, a pillow, some blankets and cookware. As long as I got some cookware and a clean towel to dry my behind. Hey, I don't need much more than that. I don't need anything more than that, to be honest with you. Um, it feels good to be at this point. It feels good to be at this point. Because I feel like this is the point God needed me. He needed to me. me he, uh, he needed me to be in this place so that He could bless me. If He gave me an abundance of things before now, I probably would have wasted it or given it away to the wrong people. So now He has the opportunity to give me whatever He wants to give me, and without fear that I'm going to covet it. Or put it above him. He knows that he's the most important thing in my life. And I'll give up <laughs> all of it. All of it. I've been sleeping on the street. And, and still praising God. So it's not like I've told you anything that I haven't already done. I mean, I've already done these things. I slept on the street and praised God. So... You know, um, when I said that if he blessed me with a, a house this size, it would be full of people. You know, I would go out and find people to come stay with me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> not only to give back, but to keep from getting lonely, you know, because this is a big place that I'm in. This is a very big house. And um, one day, it's one day soon, it's going to be full of um, people who need a place to go, people who need help, um, people who need a leg up, and resources. You know, sometimes people don't have access to resources and places like this are good for that. So my goal is to figure out as much as I can while I'm here, find out as many resources as I can find out and, and anything, you know, you guys shoot me an email if you, or, or send me a message, let me know what you want to know, questions, you know, anything. And, and I'll ask, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed at all. I don't have any room to be shameful, you know, right now. Um, <clears throat> I'm free. I don't care. You know, if I need help, I'm going to ask for it. If you need help, I'm going to help you. If I can, you know. Um, but those are the things that I'm, I'm focusing on now, you know, is, is locating a list of resources. And um, I'm going to go over to the employment place on Monday and find out what type of stuff they've got going on, find out resources there. And I'm going to post them all on YouTube. You know, I want to post them on my channel and, and leave them there and update them at some point if I can, you know. Um, but that's where I'm at. You know, I'm just kind of chilling. I'm, I'm, you know, um, I'm just relaxing. I'm taking it all in, you know, um, and it's it's amazing. It's amazing that I could feel um, at peace. I have absolutely nothing. And all I wanted a few days ago was peace. And today, that's what I feel. So, praise God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. I'll talk to y'all shortly. We'll see how long it takes <laughs> for me to disturb my own peace. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.